CBD and baby boomers what you need to know about CBD. The new explosion of cannabis products has caused understandable confusion among those of us who grew up back in the day. What's the difference between marijuana and cannabis? What's all this talk about cannabinoids? And, more to the point, what's all this fuss about CBD? What is it? What does it do? Is it legal? And what's in it for me, anyway? Cannabinoids are plant chemicals found in all species of cannabis. The cannabinoid that gets you high is called THC, tetrahydrocannabinol. It's found in marijuana, but not in hemp, at least no more so than the trace amounts of alcohol in non-alcoholic beer. The cannabinoid that does not get you high, but does all the other really cool things that people are talking about, is called CBD, cannabidiol. And you can get CBD from hemp, a plant that is now, as of the 2018 Farm Bill, legal on the federal level. CBD has an amazing safety profile, a considerable upside and, for most people, there's no serious downside to giving it a try. I did an informal, non-scientific survey of some of the, many, older people who frequent dispensaries in my neighborhood. The things I heard most frequently were, it's relieved my pain, it's great for my anxiety, I sleep much more soundly, and, more frequently than you might imagine, my dog doesn't limp anymore. Draw your own conclusions on that, but worth remembering, dogs don't do placebo effects. Something either works or it doesn't. The fact that the market for CBD pet products is exploding should tell us something. In my experience, dog lovers don't waste money on stuff that doesn't work. My own experience with hemp-derived CBD started when I was diagnosed with severe arthritis of the right shoulder, a real liability for a competitive tennis player like myself. And don't get me wrong, CBD has not cured my arthritis, nothing makes cartilage grow back. Yet using CBD, along with some other terrific supplements like omega-3s, made it possible for me to do physical therapy. The result of the physical therapy, the supplements and the CBD is that I now play pain-free tennis five or six times a week. A big part of that, in my opinion, was the CBD. For more information, please go to www.cbdworldmall.com.